Welcome back. We're going to be looking at the, the area formula in trigonometry that will be quite useful when you have partial information for a triangle. So let's dive in. We just have to remind ourselves first, how do we calculate the area of a triangle normally? Uh, you, you need a height, you need a base, you multiply them together and you divide by two. All right, we're going to modify that. We're going to look at uh, the situation where if we're looking at, say, this angle here, and you take the sine of it and then multiply it by C, that's when you'll get this. You've already done that before because you know the definition of sine. So if we combine these two and do some substitution, we get that. And this here, when, when we have the H, when we know what it is, we'll, we'll put it right there. Okay, and that H is this. So that, that's why we have right there, the C times the sine of A. And so altogether, the formula just gets slightly modified into this, BC times sine of A divided by 2. That will be the area of the triangle here. And you can approach the triangle from any side. You could, in the first part, we did this as the base. But you could also have this as the base. You just rotate it around and do the same idea and have your H go up that way instead. And you can rotate it again and have C as your base. And when you do that, you'll end up with these three different but equal uh, formulas here. And these can be used when you have the partial information that corresponds to the ones that you're looking at. All right, I'll, I'll just give you a quick little illustration of what I mean by that. Say we had uh, this information. We know the 5, the 50, and the 6. Well, in that case, you would be using the yellow one, which is why I made that yellow here. So this would be the one that you would use when you know those three right there. If you had different information, you would use the ones corresponding to it. It's really kind of simple. And you can always create this formula if you don't remember it. Just go back to basic geometry, draw the triangle out, get the height, use your simple trigonometric functions. All right, see you next time.